Today we're going to be looking at Google's coding agent and truthfully I was going to do a different video today but I got an email saying you got access to Jules so let's give it a go. Their website is fairly simple it just says meet Jules an async development agent and it tackles bugs small feature requests and other software engineering tasks with direct export to GitHub. So just reading the documentation if you don't know what GitHub is it's a place that holds your code it holds repositories of code so Jules will make a branch of your code and it will commit to that so it never affects or directly affects your main branch of code. The rest of the site has this little connect to GitHub. We have links of how it works. We have inspiration, so this will just give you different prompts that you can ask it. So for like debugging, creating documentation, if we come back here, there is also this create code cast, limited code cast we can create, which we are going to do in this video. So we're gonna try out all the different features. These settings are pretty simple. So we can sit, enable notifications. There's those data settings. We can allow AI model training on content from public repositories. So probably has access to that already anyway, but I have it disabled. And then we can see the different tasks and code base and our daily task limit. So here are the limits that we have. So we can do three concurrent tasks, five total tasks per day, or five code casts per day. So these are our limits. So let's connect GitHub and give this a go. So we are going to test this with the Franklin A website. So that's the repository I have, and we are going to use my backup branch. So I have something very simple. Just write me a detailed readme for this project. Let's see how well it does this. So we have our little octopus going. It is booting up the virtual machine. It says, would you like to enable notifications? And I'll let you know when the plan is ready or your code is ready for review. The whole concept for this is you can leave the tab running, leave, and then it will say, hey, we're done. Instead of leaving, we're gonna see what's happening here. So it's making a clone. It is reading the package JSON file and the existing readme I have, and it is going to go through everything and create a new detailed readme, I guess. We're about to find out. I've never run this before. We are trying it out together for the first time. And as you can see in the bottom left here, we have used one of our daily task limit. It came back with an entire plan for us, and at any part of this plan, we can just select and see exactly what it's saying. So maybe we wanna see, hey, it's gonna make the contribution guidelines better, and it's gonna make it more inviting. It's gonna address missing features and the to-do. It's gonna update the licensing. It's gonna review and refine everything we have, and then it's gonna submit the updated readme. So this is the outline steps to enhance our project's readme file, and let me know if this is good and the plan will auto approve in three minutes and 25 seconds. And I think it does this so once again, we can just kind of leave the tab, let it run in the background and come back to it being finished. But I'm just gonna hit approve plan and we're gonna see what it's able to do here. So the plan is approved and you can see here now, it's going through each part of the readme and you can actually see what it's adding and removing on the right here as it's updating our readme and our code. What's really cool on the left here, you can actually see the whole refractor. So this commits significantly revamps the project readme to provide clear, comprehensive, and up-to-date information. We can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, and then we can publish our branch. So this branch is going to be published to GitHub, which we can merge into our main branch. So that was just a really simple test. Let's try to ramp up the difficulty now by making it add a full-fledged new feature. And I want this feature for an upcoming video that I'm going to make tomorrow. So if you wanna stay up to date with the latest AI tools, news, trends, everything AI, click the subscribe button so you can stay in the know. On the Franklin A website, on the homepage or any page, if you scroll all the way down, there is this resource list. And I want to add a link here to a new tool that it is going to create. So we're going to paste in our prompt here, and I'm just gonna give you like a quick rundown. In the footer below AI code tests, I want to add another link to the page called GPT Cleaner. And this is gonna be a new component that you will create, and I go on to explain to it exactly what it's gonna do. So let's hit go. Let's see now if it is able to go through my entire code base, figure out what it has to add, where it has to add it, and if it can do it, properly without errors. So you can see here it is thinking and they have the little animation here. And on the top right, we can actually click this and we can see the proposed changes for each file that it makes changes to. Where this tool gets absolutely wild is the fact that we can do multiple of these at once. So I can hit the plus in the top right 
and I can actually add something else. Add more profile settings for the user to customize their profile more. And it says, give me a plan. This one is going to be working as well. And you can see in the left here, we have two tasks on the go. So we can actually flip back and forth between both tasks and they're just going to work for us at the same time. Thank you for your, your feedback. This is a new feature request. I work on a plan to address it. And then it shows us the plan it's coming up with. You can actually see whatever it says or whatever it's planning to do from styles to updating the footer with the link. And we can see the errors that it comes up with and how it's addressing them. We can kind of go through everything. So this is truly a coding agent that can go back and forth and make changes to your code base. But what's really cool is it's not affecting any of the main code base stuff and you can see everything it's doing on the right. So we can quickly click any of these files. Can we close one? I guess not, but we can click any of these files, which is cool. And you can see the green is addition, red is subtraction. And let's go back to this one. This one says we need to approve the plan. So this one has its plan ready to go and you can see what it wants to do. It wants to do like themes and notifications. And I think the notifications are for email notifications if you want to receive email. So let me see, instead of approving plan, let's try to change it up this time. All right, so I said add in choosing a profile accent color. It's going to build its plan and update our code. Then we're going to try to merge it all together and publish this live, assuming it all works. So we are on the Franklin A website. I have merged it all together into one file. We're going to scroll down here. There it is, GPT Cleaner. It is underneath the AI code test. So we have our GPT Cleaner here and it looks like it works, which we will test tomorrow because this is extremely useful and you wanna know what this does and why it exists. So super useful, we have our GPT cleaner. Under account settings, we can scroll down. We now have this theme option so we can go dark, system default or light, so we're gonna go dark. And then we also have this profile accent color. So I have it on bright red at the moment. Let's turn it to bright green and hit save. And you can see right away the profile updated and we are in dark. Looking at my actual profile, you can see this is what the green does. So it doesn't really adjust based off the light or dark, but it does work. So one prompt, we have Jules that has updated this. If we click code bases, we can see a list of all our repositories. You can see what it can do. So we can add a new task. We can see the completed task that it's done. And then there is also this configuration. So you can set up an entire development environment if you don't have it. And this repo has no tests, but let's try this, generate today's. So this is going to generate a little podcast about the changes it made on any given day. So truthfully, I've been at this for probably 45 minutes, just watching it go round and round, trying to generate, and I can never get it to generate. So it's supposed to give you like a little podcast of the changes that you made for any given day. But like I said, it doesn't work at the moment, probably because of how new and how bogged down this entire Jules programming website is going to be at the moment because it just launched. So my take on this is that it is very good if you are a programmer, it is not for your everyday person. So this isn't a great tool for vibe coding, but if you have a project on a GitHub where you want control on the changes that get made, this is a very good tool. It is using Gemini in the background. Gemini is probably still the best programming large language model available, and it is able to make all the different changes. It is going to set up a repository for you, so it is not affecting your main code, and you can see all the changes that it does and each step of the way. So a very good tool. And if you guys enjoy content like this and you wanna see more of it, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video, it tells the algorithm you wanna see more content like this. If you wanna see what I was talking about earlier, that will be tomorrow's video. And we have to clean ChatGPT text. There's a reason, watch tomorrow's video. And I also have Claude code now, so I'll do a video on that as well, probably next week. I've really put it through its paces first before I make a video. So thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.